Hey everybody, hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Today we're gonna to be talking about gratitude. So we're talking about gratitude today. Um, there are points about gratitude that some people go, oh God, really? We're talking about this again? Um, not even talking about this again. Though. We're actually just finally starting into the world of gratitude. Um, and there's a whole lot about gratitude that a lot of people just kind of dismiss. And that's really a, a, a sad item to, to, to dismiss because gratitude is actually where so much joy and fulfillment come from is when you are able to show thanks for just the little things, if you're able to go off and go, you know what? I am so grateful for the person who built the machine that put the bristles in my toothbrush. Because without him, I wouldn't have a toothbrush. I wouldn't have this toothbrush, my favorite toothbrush. I am so thankful for, you know, the, the creator of my coffee mug, because without it, I wouldn't have a moose. So, <laughs> There are so many uh, ways of being grateful, and that's what I want to challenge you to do uh, this week, is find ways to be grateful for some of the, I would almost say, minuscule things. Take the time to write down, hey, I'm grateful for uh, the time my wife took to cook this casserole. Um, I am thankful for the fact that I have a cell phone that is um, that is able to let me reach out and talk to those folks out in the world. Um, thank you for you know for having ten year old pieces of equipment because it has apparently been put together well enough that it still is working just fine. Not the fastest, but it's definitely working, and that's what that's what I'm thankful for—a working computer. Um, thankful for you know the equipment that I'm using right now. Um, thankful for my wife for taking the time to buy this wonderful equipment that I am using right now. There's so many things you could think of, um, and it doesn't take much to to find gratitude in what's all around you. Um, and I would actually challenge you to do that this next week. Every day, sit down and on a piece of paper, and use an actual piece of paper, there's, a, there's psychological effects that happen when you physically write stuff down with a pen and paper. But sit down with a pen and paper and actually write out every day five things you're grateful for. And I'm going to jack up the, the, the difficulty level on, on you a bit and say you cannot repeat one thing you're grateful for. See what that does. See how that... Uh, how your attitude changes at the end of a full week. Um, as a matter of fact, right now, I have got a, uh, a Facebook group that's going on where we're doing a 30 days of gratitude challenge. It's not too late. You can actually jump in and every day just follow in and just start with day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and just go down the line and tell everybody, what are you grateful for on that day? Because we have each day has a different uh, Different topic that you're that we want to talk to uh, grateful for. Yesterday, I believe it was what body part or what what feature of your body uh, are you most grateful for? So it's the, there are items like that. There, uh, what uh, you know, there's uh, what season are you most grateful for? There's uh, ways of for uh, just to get you into the the line of thinking of being grateful for all that is around you. Doing that changes your attitude. Uh, you cannot be down in the dumps when you are being thankful for what's around you. And you are not truly grateful for something. If you go, I, I'm grateful for my wife, but she just nags me all the time. No, you can either be grateful for her or you can't. Yes, and then you be very that black and white. There are definite lines of demarcation. And I will always hold that there are things that are very black and very white. There is no little bit of gray in the middle. It doesn't work. 
I'm grateful for the fact that I have that ability to think like that. <laughs> so see, see how that works? Come up with five things you're grateful for. Try and do that. Try and write, come up with five things and show a and, and tell everybody five things you're grateful for down in the comments below. Um, this, is, uh, this particular video is going to be rather short. So if you like these uh, little shorter videos or you um, or like the, uh, this different, the particular playlist, please subscribe the, uh, to, to Relaxed Mail and uh, you'll get notified whenever there's something new. You can actually even click the bell and, we will, and you'll show up in your notifications list. So, but uh, your liking this helps other people who want, who need this type of, uh, this type of information. Helps them to find, uh, find me um, and so I can actually help them out. So I wanna thank you very much for just taking this time uh, to, to listen to this little, little bit of gratitude because I am actually very thankful for you. And so you take care, have a great and blessed rest of the week. We will see you later. Till then. Bye.